TikTok is suing Trump. Everything you need to know. Toasty. Today I'm actually going to be talking about, uh, let me get my hat. This is not working for me, sorry. I haven't really tried wearing a hoodie here. Uh, we're going to actually get into this right here. India, first of all, banning tons of Chinese-linked companies. And second of all, just this just in, bro, um, freaking TikTok is suing our government. Or the Trump administration, anyway. Basically, cybersecurity concerns reportedly prompted India to ban more than 100 mobile apps with links to China on Wednesday, according to TechCrunch. The banned apps include popular mobile game PUBG, along with VPN for TikTok and WeChat work. These things are all coming from CNET. So, the fact is, several reports about misuse of some mobile apps available on Android and iOS platforms for stealing... Wow. I can't read. Basically, the whole thing we talked about earlier, the privacy thing, where uh, Mark Zuckerberg was like, yeah, of course they're stealing our privacy. If they're stealing our privacy from those from those companies and other companies like it, why wouldn't they be doing this? That's the whole reason that Trump is coming out and saying, oh, we need to do something about this. Well, Trump's trying to ban TikTok or force a sell. Now, here's what happened. Uh, it was on Monday in response to an executive order of course, that we already know about. This is asking the judge to throw out an executive order issued by President Donald Trump that would effectively ban the app unless an American company buys it. The lawsuit, which was filed Monday, follows a pair of executive orders and more than a month of threats from the Trump administration. The August 6th executive order gave TikTok, owned by Beijing-based company ByteDance, about a month and a half to find a lawyer. A week later... Trump extended that period to 90 days in a subsequent executive order that followed a government panel's recommendation because, obviously, you can't force someone, yeah, a month and a half to find a buyer. That's 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 not a long time. You have a month and a half to buy that freaking huge company? That's insane. Come on now. So I get why he would extend it to 90 days. Okay, I get that. It also orders ByteDance to delete any data obtained from U.S. TikTok users. Now that, that is big. It orders by density any data obtained from U.S. TikTok users. Holy crap. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have been on TikTok before, and I have watched it, used it, whatever, and I'm not going to try to hide it. Yeah, I may be too old for the app. I'm not really sure. Uh, early 20s here. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. I've crossed the threshold of early 20s. Yeah, I think it's fun. It's a fun app. There's a lot of stuff on there that's freaking hilarious. It reminds me of Vine. So, yeah, of course I use it. The executive order is not rooted in bona fide national security concerns, the TikTok wrote in its legal complaint. The lawsuit is focused on the first executive order, which also bars transactions with ByteDance. That aspect of the order could potentially affect Google's Play Store and Apple's App Store, which distribute the software in the U.S. The spread in the United States of mobile applications developed and owned by companies in the People's Republic of China continues to threaten the national security, foreign policy, and economy of the United States. The initial executive order reads, at this time... Action must be taken to address the threat past posed by one mobile application in particular, TikTok. Now, whether or not all this stuff is true, I mean, it's it's beyond me because yeah, it does make sense. ByteDance is owned by China. The problem is that they may not be stealing our data now. That may not be actually happening. They may not be using it for, well, they are taking our data, obviously. You're on the app. But ByteDance themselves may not be using it for China's gain. But the problem we have is that what happens whenever China comes up, the government comes up to ByteDance's door, knock, 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 says, hey, hand over the data. We need it for something. Okay, they're not allowed to say no because of the type of government they run. Communism. So they can say what they want and they get it, period. If they don't get what they want, then ByteDance would essentially be ruined, gone, um, bought or sold or just completely disbanded, whatever, or they, or and the CEO might go to jail. The company had previously blasted the threatened ban, saying it had tried to engage with the government in good faith for nearly a year. Now, of course, they quickly followed up by establishing an information hub to combat the misinformation and the rumors about the social media platform in real time. The thing is, is that it's not really, maybe people do believe that they're using it for China's gain now, but I don't think they are now. I don't really, I really don't. I really don't think they're using it right now for China's gain. I just think they do have all of that data. And like we talked about in my privacy and the uh, big tech and privacy cast the other day is that um, they have it now. So what makes you think they won't be able to use it in the future? It doesn't mean they're using it right now. They may not be using it right now. They may just be stockpile it up or whatever. But as you know, data does not have to move. It's there. 
once it's on the hard drive or wherever the server, you know, it's it's there until someone deletes it. And that's why Trump is also asking them to delete all the data pertaining to the US users that are on the app. Okay? Great. And that has been the quick slice. What do you think? Do you think that it's uh necessary for this to happen or do you agree with TikTok that they shouldn't have to be worried about and they should be able to do whatever they want as far as that goes? Um, it is a private business, and it, it well, private business can do what they want because of capitalism. That makes sense. It's America, but also it's not an American company. That changes things for that type of uh, argument. The next thing is, I know it's fun. I'm on it too. I agree it should stick around. I would hate to see it go. I don't think Trump should necessarily ban it completely, but there needs to be some kind of compromises worked out and of course the media is going to shine the light on the worst parts of it because you know orange is bad or whatever orange guy bad i don't know what you would call that anyway quick slice thanks for watching you guys stay toasty toasty